welcome to this EFT tapping video. This, EF, this EFT session is to support you in clearing blocks to healing. Now, EFT works on the meridians, on the energy um, centres in the body. And as everything is energy, when something is out of alignment in our body, it's it's because something is blocking that energy. So, for example, for me, I want to heal some, so <laughs> it's a bit gruesome, I know, but some fungus on my nails. And I know that if my thoughts about it, if I'm thinking, oh, that I don't like it, I don't want it to be there, then that is blocking my healing. And so it could be the same issue for you or anything you choose. So... This isn't meant to be any substitute for medical advice. Um, I still, you know, use the stuff to, to heal it. But I also know that our thoughts stop the healing. They can hinder it. If, if you're having thoughts about that you don't want this, and it starts with us loving and accepting ourselves as we are, warts and all, nail fungus and all, and... Um, whatever it is getting in the way of that and our thoughts will will stop and slow down the healing process because our bodies are designed to heal they want to heal but all our beliefs and our traumas get in the way of that now if you're new to tapping there is a video with an introduction to tapping where i talk through the the points and the link to that is in the description below and while you're there please subscribe to my channel and if you enjoy these videos support my work by buying me a cup of tea okay so there's nothing you need to do to set up wherever you are you can do it um, but i would just make sure that you're not going to be disturbed for the next five ten minutes or so so first of all we check in and fee and see how you're feeling about your current issue where one is like, oh, totally fine with it, and ten is, it's absolutely awful, it's the worst thing in the world. So we'll do that now. So make sure that you're in a grounded posture. If you're standing, your weight is distributed evenly. Um, or if you're sitting, again, your feet are, are planted firmly and the back is straight. You can just take some deep breaths and just tune in to the, that feeling of whatever it is that you want to heal and your thoughts about it and what is getting in the way of it and how does that feel in the body on a scale of 1 to 10. And it's purely subjective, it's just whatever feels right for you. And as you do that, you might feel some emotions starting to come up um, as you think about that. And that's good because you need to feel before you can heal. Oh, I made a little rhyme there. Feel before you can heal. And um, so as you tap, just notice whatever comes up. Let the feelings of thoughts just be there. If you start to cry, that's good too because it's releasing all those stuck emotions. So we'll start by tapping on the side of the hand with just like two or three fingers like that. It's called the karate chop point. Just follow along with me. You can say my words or you can replace them with your own. So even though I have this issue I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though this issue doesn't seem to be getting any better, and I really don't want it, I still deeply and completely love and accept myself.
even though I want to heal, that I don't seem to be able to. I deeply and completely love and accept myself the way I am. the eyebrow point. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> I'm so fed up with this side of the eye. I wish it would just go away. I want it to be gone. I really don't like it. Point. And I also worry about what other people are thinking about me. Collarbone. It causes me a lot of anxiety. Under the arm. And I just want to hide myself away until it's gone. I want to be better. Eyebrow point. I want this issue to be gone from my life forever. Side of the eye. I wish I could just wave a magic wand and get rid of it once and for all. I find it so hard to be patient under the nose. This has been going on for so long now. Chin, and it never seems to get better. Sometimes it, I think it's actually getting worse. Under the arm. Even though I do everything I can, it doesn't seem to make it any difference. Top of the head. Oh, just go away, will you? I've had enough of it. Point. and I feel bad about myself side of the eye I'm sure other people must be judging me I want to love my body but it's hard when it's not perfect There always seems to be something wrong. Chin. And I just can't seem to get through it and get over it. Collarbone. I am really fed up with it now. want to be better. Top of the head, I've had enough. Eyebrow point. But I wonder if I could just love myself anyway. Could I accept things the way they are? Under the eye, maybe things will never change. Under the nose, 
times and am I really helping the situation by being up, upset and angry about it? Maybe I'm making it worse. Collarbone, maybe my thoughts are actually contributing to the problem. Under the arm, I could be actually getting in the way of my own healing. And I don't trust my body to do what it's designed to do. Eyebrow point. What if I chose to relax? Side of the eye and just love myself and my body the way it is. I'm perfect the way I am. Under the nose, perhaps I could just choose to love myself a little bit more. Chin. And stop putting pressure on myself all the time. We don't live in a perfect world. Under the arm. And that includes me. Top of the head. I'm part of the world too. Eyebrow. And maybe it doesn't have to be perfect. side of the eye. Life would be much easier and simpler if I could accept things the way they are. And then under the eye. And then who knows? The healing might happen all by itself without me needing to do anything. And if it doesn't, I can choose to be okay with that. Chin. I can choose to accept things the way they are. Collarbone. And I can do whatever is possible in my power to heal. But maybe the best thing I can do is just to get out of my own way. Top of the head. And stop stressing about things that I have no control over. Eyebrow. I can do all the things like take medication or whatever I need that can help me. Side of the eye. I can help my body along instead of hinder it. Under the eye. And I can just have faith that things will work out. and give my body the space and time it needs to heal. And I can support my body instead of stressing and going against it. Um, 
collarbone. So I choose to relax now. Under the arm. And let my body do whatever it needs to do. Top of the head. And I'm just going to get out of my own way. Stop tapping and take another deep breath. Close your eyes and as you breathe out, just feel into your body and your levels of anxiety or stress about, about healing and anything that's getting in the way of your healing. And just notice on a scale of 1 to 10 where you are now. Where 1 is you're fine, everything's great and 10 is like it's completely awful and there's nothing good. And notice if that number has shifted. Hopefully it's gone down. Because I even, you know, no, I'm needing this. I'm still doing it for me as well. And I can feel like sometimes the feeling is coming up and it's like, oh, this feels quite strong. And maybe you'll need to go and do another round of tapping. You can play this video again or you can just do it for yourself saying whatever comes to mind there's no right or wrong thing to say whether it's positive or negative because it's releasing those thoughts and feelings and just get getting them out just freeing you up and if the number went up slightly well that may be because that anxiety that stress is now coming to the surface so don't leave it like that go and do some more tapping and get that number down a bit to whatever is an acceptable level, level for you. It doesn't have to go down to a one. If it was, say, you were at a six or a seven and it goes down to a four or a five, that might be good enough for now, and then you can come back. And also, this is not just something you do once and then it goes away completely. There are layers and layers, and I have a daily practice of tapping now on various issues whatever they might be and there are plenty of videos on this channel and other ones on YouTube as well to help you with anything that it, you're that you're stuck with so thank you for tapping with me today and I will see you again very soon and in the meantime take care go well and lots of love